Yay. <coughs> oh. Flem. Now we're we're old, so we gotta do this. <coughs> I don't know about it, me. Yeah. You're old. Burgers. Hello, and Rebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. My name is Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we started the trial, and apparently, uh, Francisca von Karma is the prosecutor in this case. Interesting, because I thought <gasps> it was Godot. Oh my god. <laughs> what? No, I'm just, you know. Oh, you were acting. Fe no. Feigning excitement. Acting! <laughs> acting. So, uh, we cross-examined Sister Bikini, uh, first, and, uh, she said some stuff that doesn't match up with what evidence we have. So, she's gonna give us more details about after her bath. So, let's get right into it. After my bath. I finished my bath around 11, and I thought I should return to the inner temple. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look, and Iris was- Oh, Mr. Calise! And with that sword of all things- Mr. Calise was staying on the quarter room, which faces out into the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. You saw a truly terrible sight, didn't you? If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Van Karma whipping Mr. Edgeworth in two in court. And me sitting it off in this very chair. Uh, yeah, well, something like that. This judge... <laughs> His imagination is about as vivid as and creative as Detective Gumshoe. Ah. <laughs> I would look the fool if I commented on such foolishness. Anyway, this case is mine, Miles Edgeworth. Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that habit of yours? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad somebody pointed it out. It's really freaking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So, um, anything stick out to you, Pharaoh? Uh, I honestly gotta go over it really quick again. <laughs> you are paying attention. Um, uh, usually, I mean, usually I am, but some. I think I, I wasn't like really focusing on what was really out of place. <sighs> the noise. Sorry, okay. Whatever. I'm gonna take a look at the evidence. I'm gonna look at that autopsy report real quick. Let's see, time of blood. Time of blood. Time 10 to 11 p.m. Cause loss of blood from stabbed back of the head. Body fell 10 feet after death. Oh, wait a minute. After death. Oh, so the last statement then. Yeah, because you said I saw the stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Which don't make no kind of sense. Hold up. All right, so I'll present that mug here. Uh, which which mug? The last the autopsy report. Yeah. Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. No, oh, please do. My brain is something else, especially in winter. However, I think you are overlooking one thing, Miss Von Karma. Would you be so uh, be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The autopsy, autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Yeah! That's right! It says after death right here! The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard, how did the victim then go on to take a take a 10 foot fall? Ah! Uh, order! Order! That victim was killed and then fell. If that's if that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? Th that is a logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room, and then she was thrown out of the w thrown out of her window down into the courtyard below. Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Donham's room? <sighs> She was stabbed with a sword, 
That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? Uh, well, Miss Von Karma, was there any blood? Uh, no traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found on my glorious playoff beard. However, if there was no blood in the room, then you claim that it- Wah! I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this. As I'm sure your honor is well aware. Of course, when a stab wound produces the most blood. Uh, when it produces the most blood? Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of blood's insertion. If you want to talk about when the blood- most blood would be lost from my body? That would be when the blade is removed. Hmm, indeed. The weapon's still in place. It acts like a lid on the wound. Well, that's true. If the weapon's still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. A perfectly reasonable line of thinking. I honestly don't think so. Yeah, it is... I mean, I mean, a lot of people call them question a lot of the logic in Ace Attorney games. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to think even whenever it gets inserted, there has to be some type of blood somewhere. I would imagine so. But, again... Video uh, game not, logic. There's that. I mean, we are not real-life detectives. We True. are not forensic investigators. So and we I never stabbed anybody, so... Yeah... Uh, yeah, that too. Uh, fair. You got something to say? Nope. <laughs> All right then. We have come to a conclusion then. The victim was thrown out of the window with the sword still in place. This removes all of the contradictions. That still doesn't make sense. Eh. Uh, order, order, order. I must admit that this is a probable version of events. I expect no less from Francisca von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. Hmm. It seems that we need a clear testimony from the witness. Remove all supposition, supposition of your, on your part and tell us only the truth, please. <laughs> witness, please! Remain standing on the crate. <laughs> Don't go selling me short now. The weight of Witcher Snow has has me bent has bent me out of shape especially my back in my mood sister please give us your testimony i will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here with the whip <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right all right what is up with these games and massages Mas i don't know but apparently they're good I i'm like i need one i mean sure yeah, my back's been killing me too so <laughs> They don't know what you're talking about yet, Skinny. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, they don't. What did, what did I say? What? I don't know. I just, okay, yeah, I'm going to. Future Skinny, edit that out. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, further details. All right, Bikini, what you got? When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab, Mr. Khalees. I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I awoke, Mr. Gami was... Stabbing Mr. Kalis through the back! Hmm. This all confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. Perfection is an impossibility, Francisco Von Karma. I'm here to teach you just that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Like... Hmm? <laughs> no, man. I thought you were going to say it. No. No. Not yet. Not yet. There will be. Okay. All right. Further details. There's one statement I want to kind of press on. Um, Where is it? Uh, I've never seen so much blood before. That kind of doesn't make sense because the statement before she said... Well, I on that one? Yeah, I've never seen so much blood before because that doesn't make sense. She said she didn't actually see her stab Mystic Elise, but then, like... I don't know. It's... Uh, uh, yeah. 
I want to press on it. Let's press. Let's we'll just press on it. Yeah, sorry. My brain... Just kind of shut off there for a second? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the weekend. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> so you're, you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? Th that's right! Some of it splattered onto Iris, too! When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room, and her blood fleckled clo or flecked clothing was neatly folded in the corner. Uh, what? The clothes were blood flecked as well? Hmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. Uh, what should I do? Press this point further? Oh uh, yeah, press further. Going back to your pre previous statements, you said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now you saw you say you saw the victim bleeding. Well, well, I say what I say that what I saw is what I saw. Uh, uh, what did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed, but I saw the girl pull a uh, pull the sword out of her plain as day. Pulling the sword out. Well, it wasn't exactly pulling. It was more like it came out. What? A witness, you will add this statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? <laughs> More important than you can imagine. Dun dun. So I saw the instant in which the blade plunged in into the hilt was smoothly drawn. Oh, that just makes me. Ugh. It, oh god, my stomach's kind of churning right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm like, ugh. Okay, now that won't make sense because. The shishito has branches. How could it be smoothly pulled out? Oh. Uh, so present that bug hero. Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. At least I like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. Oh, well, what do you mean? You make it a sound as though I'm a liar. But you're so handsome. You're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Wow, so if he was ugly, you would have just said, no, screw you, I'm not gonna take, you know, crap from you. Well, that wow. sucks. Huh? Double standards? Whoa, huh? whoa, whoa, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. What? You, you alright? I'm fine. You, you calm? I'm calm. Okay, alright, just take, take a breath. You, 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 just, right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's like you take a personal or something, like, dude, just... Calm? No, it's not that, but like, like you, you got. I think you gotta admit that. It is kind of objective, like, yeah. Uh, it, I th and I think it happens. Like you know, it's like, like oh, you know, you, you look all right. So yeah, okay. But if you look like, God knows who else, it's like mm, no. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, what okay. contradictions are you talking about? In the scene that the witness claims I have seen. The weapon was thrust up to its hilt into the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. Ah! Hey, what do you mean? Please explain you- you are- Explain yourself! Well, to start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Objection! It doesn't appear? What meaningless dribble. I too may appear to be weak and frail, but I can crush men under my heel and make them weep, should I so choose. That's a fetish! <laughs> I mean, the objection stands! I mean, she I got, she's <laughs> got a whip. I, mm, well, let's not get into this fantasy, huh? <laughs> oh, God. To get 50 shades of nasty up in here. Oh god, let's never bring that up either. <laughs> Can't believe they're making a movie still about this. There's a there's a have trilogy got, to that book. Have you guys read any passage to that book? Don't don't I, ask I, the, don't ask my viewers that! No, I'm just saying because like I'm not gonna lie, I was at a bookstore one day. I saw it, I'm like, why are people so engrossed by this? I flipped to a random page, I read it, and I laughed. I'm like, wow, this is some straight up erotica amateur fanfiction thing, you know? Ugh. But 
it, it made money. And if I knew it was that easy, I probably would have written the books myself. Okay. Uh, not saying that I would. And, and, you just and I'm not said dissing that you the would. author. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yes. Well, only for financial gain. I wouldn't believe anything I wrote. <laughs> oh my god. Please. Sellouts! Please, okay. Please continue. I whipped a little back there, I must admit. That isn't the only issue here. If this sword was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt, well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly wouldn't come out smoothly. Uh, that's... We well, oh... Really, Benji? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. My dog, like, literally is smooshing himself underneath me right now, so I can't, can't put my feet anywhere. It's just fur. <laughs> oh, God. We also have the problem of the amount of bleeding. It's true that when a blade is left in the body, it acts like a plug of sorts. <laughs> How, he's tickling me. However, when the weapon is shaped like this, it's an entirely different story. That the wound will be too large for the blade to completely stop from bleeding. Objection! That's nothing more than conjecture. In reality, the victim was stabbed with a shishito. Even though a weapon of this nature may still come sometimes slide out smoothly and may still sometimes stop that the blood loss. Objection! I'm not finished. There's still one more conclusive contradiction. You still got more! This one is simple. If this sword r really was thrusting all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? Thank you. Ugh. If this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! Order, order, order! Wah! Bravo, Miles Edgeworth. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence? All the other attorneys I know would could maybe manage one, if that. But what does this all mean? You have proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but... Having come this far, there can only be one answer. And that is? The weapon used to kill the victim was not a shisha shisha shisha. <laughs> what? A foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a fool heartedly foolish fool. Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think of the sword was a murder weapon? Well, it's because Mr. Gami was holding it. Exactly. However, if you reflect, reflect that, that is only this. That is only basis. Hold on. If you reflect on this. That is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what inf ins that is what inf influenced us. It influenced us to believe that the shishi shishito was the murder weapon. Order, order, order! Why stop whipping me? So maybe the shishito was not the murder weapon. Even if that is the case, it changes nothing, Miles Edgeworth. The sister here saw everything. She even saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. Hmm. That's true. You have a response, Miss Edgeworth? If that is so, I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? <laughs> God. It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall in the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to if a sword-like object was found. Uh, that's... That's the question, Miss Von Karma. No evidence of that kind was found. Hmm. Another... I'll throw onto the pile. A trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me, sorry, motorcycle. Shut up! We're recording here, dang it! God, I hate 
hate that so much. Okay. Excuse me, could I say something? I just remembered something, actually. Oh, what is it, sister? I was just thinking, it's possible that just maybe what actually happened was it was just over there. Uh, what exactly are you going on about here? The murder weapon, I mean, maybe. I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what? Well then, I think we need to hear testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible. Oh, I'm glad and never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else could this old woman have seen? This... this woman... Um, I mean, seriously, we've been... How many testimonies have we been going into with this lady at already? At least three! Uh, um... I won't stop because I think we're almost at a stopping point. So, let's keep going. Won't stop, can't stop, let's go! Woo! Location of the weapon. I saw the murder around 11 p.m., and after asking that that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. And there, I saw tracks! Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used! It takes 15 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but no less than five using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She could drive a snowmobile after all. Hmm. Witness, please, tell us everything you know right, right away next time. Well, I'm not the best of shape. What with my back and my age, you know. Wait, how old is she? Let's check, because I don't. I thought she wasn't that old. No, she's 48. Woman. You 48. Had to, I did like you 70 or something. Girl, shut up. Right. Shoot. Oh, that. Uh, why did we even... Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey! Bless you! Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> Quiet. There were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. Are we gonna look at it? <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> a snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly is an interesting theory. The tracks begin in front of Hazakura's temple and run all the way to Dusky Bridge. Yay! That solves your pesky little problem, yes? The Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in winter, making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Miss Edgeworth, your cross-examination, please. Okay, I want... I think there's a place we can actually present that piece of evidence we just got, because... If the snowmobile was used, then technically... Where is it? Oh. Then technically, there should be two sets, not just one set of track... of snowmobile tracks. Right? Go, what, one going, one coming back. Exactly. So, I I need to find out which statement to press on. Hold on. After asking that it would be reported, I went into the main gate. And there, I saw tracks. Tracks indicated. Blah, blah, blah. Takes 15 minutes. Okay, that's not important. Oh my god, go! Maybe you can see the weapon knocked out. Iris could have done that. She could drive a snowmobile after all. Okay, pro I think here might be it. Um, which, which one? The last one? I think so. It's Iris could have done that. Okay. So present the present that mug here. Objection. That was right. Tracks. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> I admit this photograph proves something. It proves that the snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable, it seems, Miles Edgeworth. However, if what the witness says is true, why is there only one set of tracks? What do you mean? Iris left Hazakura Temple, threw the weapon into the river, and then returned. If this was the case, then naturally sh two sets of track in tracks in the snow. Those from heading out to the bridge, and those from coming back. Ah! You're right! Hm. You are forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. 
Mm. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall. This removes your precious contradiction, now doesn't it? I see. While she was at the river, the snow snapped, stopped. There have been just a return tracks in the snow. What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flaw in her theory? This idea that the snowfall covered one set of tracks. Uh, there is a contradiction. Idiot. <laughs> the tracks in the river were, were covered by snow. <laughs> what a nice theory. However, Miss Von Karma, that is impossible. Would you care to explain why there is a root index finger point currently pointed in my general direction? <laughs> because that's what I do. <laughs> do you not know me? <laughs> no need. The evidence will do all the talking for me. On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge. In order to dispose of the murder weapon, the outgoing tracks were erased by snow. Or so claims Miss Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth, present your evidence to the country, eh? Evidence that the outgoing tracks were not covered by snow. Well, uh... You can actually... Where is it? We got the weather data, like, a while ago. And it says, uh, snow, 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m., lightning, 10 to approximately 11 p.m. Uh, so... Oh, gosh. So, the murder happened around 11, right? Right. So right. it snow stopped before the uh, murder happened. So there's no way that the snow could have covered the tracks. That sounds about right. Now present that bug here. Witness, please tell us again what time it was when you witnessed the crime. Uh, like I said, it was around 11. Well, of course, this means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? On that note, please take a look at this data. It is the mountain weather report for Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. The weather report? Snow started to fall at 7 p.m., but it stopped at around 10.50. Uh. Therefore, when the sister witnessed the crime at 11 p.m., the snow had already stopped falling. It's impossible for any tracks made after that time to have been covered up. Ah! Order! Order! Uh, very well, then. It looks like Miss Von Karma's claim has been... ...snowed in? I mean... Oh, God. I mean, shoot. That was really bad. He deserved to be whipped for that one. Yeah. It's too soon to be closing this trial due to snow. Miles Edgeworth, how pathetic of you to rely on the weather of all things. Hmm. Answer me this then. When is a weather report ever correct? Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 you've got it all wrong. This isn't a forecast, this is actual data. Yeah! Forecast data. All weather reports have some inaccuracies. It may still have been snowing in the vicinity well past 11 p.m. Hmm. It's true. We can't be totally sure, eh? W what? How did she pull that off? I mean, I, I gotta say, that is pretty much complete BS on Francisco's part. Mm -hmm. Because data is data. You got. You, it is like almost 99.9% accurate yeah because i deal with that with work every day <laughs> and that crap is calculated and to the t when people need it so yeah they didn't stop snow again how's it going to temple when the murder took place you need to provide conclusive evidence of this i've come this far there's no turning back now very well. I, too, cannot allow any doubt to remain concerning this, this testimony. Huh. You can't back down, can you? Such a perfectionist, Miles Edgeworth. Look who's talking! Exactly. Ugh. Very well, then. Miss Edgeworth, where is your evidence that it had already stopped snowing when the victim was killed? Uh, let's see. I think it's... I think it's a crime photo. 
Cause if it was so, whoa! If it was still snowing, her body would be covered in it, in snow. Mm -hmm. So, present that mug here. Ultimately, it all comes down to at to one point, that being whether or not it was snowing in that courtyard when the victim was stabbed. That's right. But proving that is incredibly easy. Oh. If we want to know whether it was snowing or not, this photo will tell us everything. Of course, I'm referring to the photo of the crime scene. As you can see, everything is covered with snow. With just one exception. And that is? The victim herself, Miss Elise Donin. Why is there no snow on top of her? The answer is simple. It stopped snowing when she was killed, that's why! <laughs> In other words, if the killer really did go to Eagle River to dispose of the murder weapon, then in this photograph there should be two sets of tracks! <laughs> order! Order! Just what are you- yeah. Just what are you suggesting, Miles Edgeworth? Well, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself, but... This is simply what all the facts point to. That night, someone used a snowmobile to leave Hazakura Temple. Mm. <laughs> from, from the tracks left, it can be understood that they were heading for Dusky Bridge. At that time, it was still snowing. Of course it was, because those tracks were gone. Then when this person returned to Hazakura Temple... Mm. The snow had stopped. Thus, the return tracks remain. Hmm. Can I say something? This is all a bit fishy to me. What is, sister? There's only one key for the snowmobile. Hmm. Furthermore, on the night in question, we know that the defendant had it. The key was found in her room after the murder. Which can only mean one thing. That night, Iris used the snowmobile to go to the inner temple. But, Iris said that she never went there. I should probably press on this point some more when I get the chance. The snowmobile can't cross the suspension bridge, so she must have left it on the, on the Harzakura side of the bridge and crossed on foot. Uh, that sounds right. But what's odd is that I left Iris and returned to Hazakura Temple. I didn't see anything near the dusky bridge. Oh. Sorry, uh... You must have just failed to see it, sister. Maybe, but when I made it back to Hazakura Temple... It was there, by the main gate! The snowmobile, I mean. I know what I saw. It was covered in snow, too. But that... That is impossible! Order, order, order in the court! What does this all mean? Uh. So then, what was the snowmobile used for? It wasn't taken by the defendant when she went to the inner temple. It had, if it had been, then the witness couldn't have possibly have seen her by the gate. But furthermore, if it wasn't used by the killer to dispose of the murder weapon, then if that was the case, there should be two sets of tracks in this photo. All we know is this. After it stopped snowing, someone used a snowmobile to return to Hazakura Temple. Hmm. I never thought a simple snowmobile could cause so much trouble. I think we're arrived at this point at this point due to the witness. Uh, yes, yes, I've nothing more to add. I've told you everything, everything that I know. Well then, that still leaves us with the same problem. If only there was someone, the witness who could testify to having seen the snowmobile. A, wi a witness, huh? Was there no way out, walking perhaps, near Dusky Bridge on that night? I don't think that's likely. 
It was cold enough to freeze your ears off. Only an idiot would go out wandering like that. Uh, unless they had something really important to do. Hmm. Oh, that's a shame. Hold on. Something is coming to me. An idiot may well have gone wandering on the subarctic night. <laughs> Your Honor, I actually have an idea. There may be one individual able to help us. Really? You know of someone who might have seen the snowmobile on the night of the murder? I don't know for sure if he saw it or not, but there are two things about him that do come to mind. Which are... Uh, first, that he saw something incredible on the night of the murder. And the second being? This individual that I'm thinking of went wandering outside on that cold night. In other words, he is our kind of idiot. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, who is this idiot you're talking about? And that well... would be none other than our very own Larry Butts. Present what an idiot. Present his mug. Well, this guy must be a product of Jean-Luc de Lagarde's Guide to Obnoxious French Painting. This is Larry Butts, a student of the victim Elise Donan. A student? Interesting. Why was he wandering on the night of the murder? That's... Complicated. I could tell him all about the, his designs, Virus, but it may cost us his credibility as a witness before I even call him. He is, after all, an artist. He was, perhaps, searching for something in the snowy scenery that would move him. Although I cannot guarantee that this is the reason. And so, this unfortunate, unreliable-looking man was exactly was it he saw. I intend to extract that from him right here in this very courtroom. Well, summon this youth as a witness immediately! I have no choice, do I? I believe he is in the gallery for this trial. It will not take long to summon him. Very well! Larry... You may have escaped me yesterday, but today I'm going to get everything out of you. The court will now adjourn for a 20-minute recess. Ms. Von Kammer, please see to preparing the next witness. Understood, Your Honor. Uh, good. Well then, the court is now in recess. Yay! Oop. We says. To be continued. We'll play some kickball in yay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry the video is a little longer than expected. I was hoping to get to the stopping point so I wouldn't have to do it in another episode. But um. But this is good. I mean, it's a it's a yeah, it's a longer episode, but eh. 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 So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.